Unoptimized images are a leading cause of performance problems on websites, and slow loading websites can give a bad user experience and ultimately hurt conversion rate for your visitors. But luckily, Cloudinary makes it easy to optimize images with React. Images are a great way to add context to any website, but if those images aren't optimized, your user could be downloading huge files that will slow down the website. And a slow website will frustrate your users and cause them to leave before ever interacting with the page, like buying a product. But Cloudinary's SDKs, both the React SDK and the URL Gen SDK, can help us easily optimize images. Here we have a little demo application where we're loading a bunch of images from our local machine that are completely unoptimized. If you look at the file sizes, they're anywhere between two and four megabytes. That's huge. Let's use Cloudinary to help improve our load times here. In our code, we have the Cloudinary SDK already configured. And here's the array of images that we're looping over to display on the page. Over here in my Cloudinary account, I've uploaded the exact same images in their original file size to Cloudinary. Now let's start pulling the images from here rather than our local machine. To start, we're going to change the source attribute of our image to point to Cloudinary instead of our local machine. Now you can see that we're pulling the images from my Cloudinary account and looping over them. Let's see what this does to the load time. If I refresh the page back in the application, you'll notice that not much changes. The files are still being served as is in very large format. But the Cloudinary SDK can help with that by adding some optimization parameters. Let's bring in the SDK and start optimizing our images. First, we'll create a Cloudinary image using the SDK. And we'll give it the path to our image in our Cloudinary account. And now, instead of using a regular image tag, let's take advantage of Cloudinary's React SDK and use their advanced image component. Again, let's check the app and see the effect on the load time. Not much has changed here. We're still loading very large files, but now you can see the URL has changed ever so slightly now that we're using the Cloudinary SDK. Let's get these file sizes down and add some optimization parameters now. In our Cloudinary SDK, let's chain on two optimizations. One is the format method, and we'll use the automatic configuration to let Cloudinary decide the best way to format this photo, whether that's WebP, JPEG, PNG, whatever suits the browser that you're in. And let's also add the quality optimization parameter, and we'll set that to auto to let Cloudinary determine the best quality to serve. Now let's refresh our application and see our new and improved sizes. These images are much, much smaller, down from 4 megabytes to about half of the size at 2 megabytes. Now there's one last thing we can optimize here. You'll notice that our images are capped at 400 pixels wide, yet we're still loading a much wider source image. So we'll add another optimization parameter to restrict the size of the image that we download to 400 pixels wide. To do that, we'll chain on the resize method and pass it the scale parameter, which we import from the Cloudinary SDK, and we scale the width to 400 pixels, which is our maximum width that we want in our UI here. Refreshing the page now shows us that all of our images are just 10 to 20 KB, much, much, much smaller. When we restricted that size, it loaded a much smaller source image. And you'll also see here that the type of all these images is WebP, which is the most efficient format for our browser and our setup. And as you can see, the page looks just as good and it loads much, much, much faster. In the next video, we'll show you how to build an interactive image gallery using React and Cloudinary.